Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Contest Prep University. Joe Klimczewski with Adam Atkinson, episode two in our series on diet methodology. And we're going to take that ketogenic, low-carb generalization from episode one and turn it into a couple specific diets, at least by name, that use those principles, specifically paleo and carnivore. And I've always told people outside of the obvious that we talked about in episode one with the problems due to a zero or very, very low carb diet. If you just modify that a little bit and you move over into the paleo column where you can eat some whole food carbohydrate, you, you can have some fruit, you can have some you know, ground based or whole food based carbohydrate sources, you're really doing a great job. It's just a higher protein, moderate fat, moderate, but healthy carb version. It's almost like a land-based Mediterranean diet. So I'm, I'm curious what you think about paleo and then I, I guess carnivore kind of goes in the opposite direction of what I'm describing, but we can talk about that one next. Yeah. These can be used in autoimmune cases as well. That's where I would lightly, you know, kind of find it's a, uh, it's context for me, but I usually, I usually don't say it's paleo. Uh, the foods we're using just typically fall under that microscope of being, being used. I, I guess I'm really careful with my clients on what terminology I use. Cause then, you know, they become the paleo junkie online on Instagram and said, this worked for me. Uh, you know, those people are going to get weak and have some things that are non-paleo and probably battle some excessive inflammation, even at the cost of having a lifelong, you know, autoimmune that they're managing, they're still human and they want to have foods that aren't paleo. So, but I think for an overall health benefit, you know, just like going off of the um, keto, we had talked about how you know, less processed foods is a great thing for overall health. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but is it really realistic to stick to for the long term? And uh, I would say this is one of those things where it goes too far. It could maybe be, you know, maybe mentally bad, just like any other diet, but I think especially that one. Yeah, a lot of the CrossFit crowd originally used paleo as just their version of keto, and it was still like no carb, no carb, no carb. But if you truly look at paleo, as you mentioned, get rid of processed foods and so forth, most of us eating well get pretty close to that. I mean, if you're really careful and you're you're aligned with your own health values, uh, of course, when we get to the end and talk about flexible dieting, we know people can bastardize that and just make it a shit show of eating just bad food. But, um, you know, putting that little twist over into the carnivore column, there are some celebrity YouTubers who do this. And I mean, in my understanding, maybe you could correct me if I'm wrong, Adam, it, it's just meat that's like paleo, but without the, the fruits and the vegetables. And it's just, you know, eat four pounds of steak a day. And that's the carnivore diet, uh, as if you were a lion or something. Um, probably not my favorite, of course, by far, because of the the obvious advantage of having some carbohydrate in your diet for many reasons. But but what do you ever even hear people kind of trying to bring that into your world as a client? Very rarely, you know, I, I just don't hear it too often. But uh, to my understanding, if you sell a line of supplements along with it, you become the next liver king. <laughs> there, you there you go. Yeah, re really, re really good point. Uh <laughs> took me by surprise for a second there because I don't even think those people can do it that well or that long. Every single person that tries to be that restrictive, they always invariably tell me, okay, that's how I eat until I kind of need a cheat day. And then it's, you know, 24 donuts or something like that. And then I get back on track. If your diet methodology pushes you that far into a corner, something's wrong. I mean, you know, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time talking about the health detriments of something like pure carnivore. But again, as a tool, once in a while, when you're trying to maybe flush out those cravings for carbs and so forth, and you just want to get them out of your diet as, as a little bit of a purging, um, you know, capacity, then, you know, maybe that's okay for a while, you know, a short stint of time. 
Absolutely. <clears throat> All right, guys, we'll see you next time in Contest Prep University. We're going to turn now toward the lower fat, more balanced and even flexible dieting approaches. See you next time in Contest Prep University.